Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make the angle block using on shape. So let's take a look at this shape here. We'll notice that it is six inches long by two inches tall by three inches wide. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a number of sketches to do this. There's more than one way to do it. But the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to sketch this overall block. Okay, I could sketch it in the front view and push it back three inches. Then I'll make a secondary sketch on the front in order to create this angle here. And then I'm going to repeat that process for the other side. So here we go. So now I've gone to create a new document and I have named it Angle Block. And I'm going to hit OK. So now that your workspace shows up, you can go over to start a new sketch. And I'm going to start it in the front view. I'm going to look at the front on my view cube, and I'm going to use the rectangle tool, and I can make a rectangle that is going to be a, a measurement of six inches long by two inches tall. And I'm now going to look at that and change my camera to isometric, and I'm going to extrude this surface for a distance of three inches. Hit the green check mark. Now that I have my block, I'm going to start a new sketch on the front of this block. And I'm going to look at it so that it's flat. So now what I want to do is I want to create that angled line. So I'm going to use my line tool. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line from this corner here over to the right at one inch. Hit Enter. OK. The, I'm going to use uh, the Escape key to get off of all my tools, and I'm going to select the line tool once again. This time I'm going to go to the bottom right corner, and I'm going to make a, a line going up at a distance of one inch, and then I'm simply going to connect these two points together. Okay, so now if I go to my isometric view, this is what I have. Okay, so now I'm going to Again, use the escape key to get off my tools. And I'm going to select this triangular area right here. When it's lit up, I'm going to go to extrude. And I want to change this to 3 inches. And I want to remove as opposed to add. So I'm going to hit the green check mark. And now I have this. So now what I want to do is I want to create another sketch on this front surface. And again, look at it as if it's flat. And if I take my line tool and I start my line at this point right here, and I click once, and if I bring my mouse over to this line here, I don't click, I just hover for two seconds. When I come back, it'll track that line for me and tell me when I'm perpendicular by those two little lines that show up below my cursor. So I can kind of see the dashed line telling me where I need to be. So I'm going to click here. And then all I need to do is create another line that takes me to this corner here. OK. Change my camera over to isometric. Use the Escape key to release myself from my tools. I'm going to select this triangular area here. And I'm going to extrude by removing one inch, hit the green check mark. You'll see that half of it's removed. I am now going to orbit myself around by holding the right mouse key and turning it. And I'm going to start another sketch here on the back side. And I'm simply going to look at the back and repeat the process. Using my line tool, I'm going to start at this point, click once, Hover over this point for two seconds and drag it back until I see that I'm perpendicular. Click here and click here. Use the escape key to get off my tools. I'm going to select this, this triangular area here. And now I'm going to extrude. When I extrude, I want to remove and hit the green check mark. If I change my camera angle back, there you have the angle block.